Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am just making an update video to let you guys know what's been going on with me and my life. Um, as you guys can see, it is extremely hot, as you can see by some shininess. It's currently over 30 something degrees in Linz. And I decided why not make a, an update video. Um, as some of you have noticed I haven't been posting so much on the blog lately or on this channel and the reason is simple uh, I've been tired <laughs> uh, there is a lot of stress going on at work because it is the Euro season and I work in a company that has to do with sports so it's been uh, pretty stressful well, one of the things that has also been going on is that I have finally been diagnosed with fibromyalgia and that has been a process on its own and coping with it is a whole other issue. Um, yeah, and that has been a, a total issue on its own. Um, Basically, I have had a lot of things going on at the same time, and it's been hard. Fibromyalgia is a disease that uh, affects affects a lot of parts in your body um, and in your daily life. For me, mostly it's pain. That's my biggest symptom. That was the first symptom I had, and it's progressed into more things. Um, lately, my biggest issue has been the weather, because uh, weather changes affect me a lot. Uh, they will give me much higher pain. They, uh, you know, if, if the weather changes, and I don't mean like slight changes, I mean going from 20 degrees Celsius in one day to 35 degrees in the next day. Um, those are things that change the pressure, you know, the, the, the weather pressure, and that affects my body. Um, which has been happening for the last, I think, since May, beginning of May, I think. Uh, and it's really insane because it's just, I have the feeling that on one day it's raining, and it's cold and then the next day it's sunny and then the next day it's super hot and raining and thunderstorms storms and I just don't know how to you know it's 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 bad on its own because you don't know what to dress and you know and well, on my case the worst thing is I don't know what kind of shoes to wear um, it has been a bit hard I have also been extremely tired um, again, it has to do with the weather changes because, you know, sleep is very important and I either don't sleep because of the pain and then I have more pain and then I don't sleep because of the pain, so it's like a vicious cycle. Um, so I've been extremely tired, but in the last few weeks I've actually been sleeping a lot. I've been sleeping good, uh, I just keep having the feeling that I am exhausted. I'm extremely tired and I try not to let it affect my work and so far it hasn't because I do work a full-time job and I plan on doing it so until I can <laughs> which I hope will be very many years um, but I do work you know it can get hard sometimes especially because I know I have a fixed schedule um, well, I do have, it's just that some days I start in the morning and some days I start later on in the day and work until 10 p.m. And that uh, is also changes. Um, also, what lately I've been feeling is extremely, um, what I like to call rusty, because I have a lot of problems uh, getting up in the morning and like moving, moving my arms, moving, you know, my legs. It's been like, it's like I wake up and then my body needs to wake up. And uh, yeah, it's been a bit hard. Um, I have not given up blogging, not at all. Um, I have just been also extremely busy and, you know, I want I want to know how I can keep 
living my life with this. Let's put it like this. Uh, I am on medication. I have started a new medication and it's been helping so far. The thing is, uh, we, we upped the dose and I think it was a bit too early. Um, so I think my body is also getting used to that, to the new medication. Um, and yeah, and oh, that's cute. I just realized these are my parents, actually. That's my daddy. That's my mama. I think both of these pictures are like 20 years old, but these are the ones that I have here in, in this place. And this is in Iceland, I think. This is a picture that Marcus took, and I think it's in Iceland. Marcus takes wonderful pictures, like really wonderful pictures. Uh, anyways, back to the subject. Uh, that is what has been going on, and for some of you, because I wrote a post on it, um, and some of you have asked how I've been dealing with it. Uh, well, it depends on the days. <laughs> when you are diagnosed with a chronic illness, it's um, it's hard. You know, I was diagnosed mis 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 I was misdiagnosed with ME last year, which is also a chronic disease and has ninety nine percent of the same symptoms as fibro. And so I started going through the whole uh, accepting steps uh, last year and I feel like on one hand I need to go like start all over again and on another hand I'm like a bit like you know uh, forward than if I, it was the first time. Uh, when the doctor first told me that, uh, I remember I called Marcus and he asked me, okay, is that good or is that bad? And I remember, like, the first thing I thought was, I don't know. And I told him, um, well, it's good because we know what it is and we know what we can do to manage it. It's bad because, uh, because I have this. Um, I have this illness and it won't go away because it's chronic and it's gonna go for the rest of my life and I will go through flares like I am right now where everything sucks, where I'm extremely tired and then I will go through phases where things are getting better. Um, one thing that we are all <laughs> agreeing with, well all my doctor and me, is that probably what made this worse, one of the things um, was the fact that last year, around this time, I started uh, doing the Kayla Itzen, Kayla, Kayla, you know the Kayla workouts, which are extreme, and uh, if you have fibro, you cannot do that type of things. You cannot do that type of workouts because uh, your body won't uh, won't handle it. I'm sorry, I'm working with, I'm playing with my phone. Isn't it cute though? Uh, yeah, and. You know, it sucks. Sometimes I still think uh, it sucks. Like when I'm really feeling extremely tired, I'm like, fuck, why do I have this? But then I also think, you know what? There are people who have it far worse than you. Um, and yeah, I try not to compare myself to others simply because everyone's different. And, you know, every disease is different. And even people with the same disease people are different and I don't think, I think it's just, it's it's a waste of time to compare like or to say like, oh at least it's not cancer um, because no it's not, that's good, it's not cancer but uh, it also has bad things and it has good things just like, you know, cancer has the good thing that it can be cured and you know, for the people who fortunately get cured from it, hey, that's good, you get cured, and then you don't have it. Um, if you're lucky enough not to have it again for the rest of your life. Uh, so I try not to compare myself to others, or to try, I try not to, not to dwell in that, like, depression type of state of mind. Um, a lot of people in forums, because I am in some, like, support groups on Facebook, you have the people who are like, positive mindset, and who are like, well, you're having a bad day, I get it, I'm here for you, and then you have the people who are like, oh my god, my life is over. And I get that there are different stages of the illness, and I get that people are different, 
but personally I think that um, I think that you can always do something so that you don't get depressed by having because you have a chronic illness. Um, if I'm gonna be really honest, I think that, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. Uh, side note: there are two types of depression, in my opinion. There are depressions that are chemist chemical depressions, with where your brain doesn't function right, and then there are uh, emotional depressions. And it's very easy to get depressed when you have fibro, when you see someone having a great day and you're like, I cannot do that. Um, but that's an emotional depression and there are ways not to let yourself go down that well. And, you know, that's what I try to do. Of course I have days where I'm like sitting and crying or where I'm like telling Marcus I'm such a horrible girlfriend and you should be with someone else, with someone, because he's a very sporty person, he likes to go out and hiking and all of that and, and, and he runs and that, that's something that we cannot share. Even if I wanted to, I cannot do that with him. Um, and so I'm like, you should go, you should, like, we should break up and you should be with someone that, that like, could do those things with you and he's like, usually, usually he's like, just stop being silly. <laughs> that's basically how I deal with it. Um, I don't have a formula on how to, like, I don't have the perfect formula on how to deal with it. Um, I'm still learning and I learn every day and I'm learning, I'm getting, I'm, I'm learning how to get in touch with my body and knowing what is too much or not. Um, and I'm trying to be good to my body after years of being bad to it. Yeah, and I'm lucky enough that I have, uh, I, my choice was a long time ago, a few years ago, I chose to get rid of negative people in my life as much as I could because there's always people that you cannot, you know, cut out of your life either because you work with them or because they're married to your best friend or something. But I have cut negative people out of my life as much as I can and that has, has helped a lot. Um... And I am lucky enough to have uh, my parents who support me a lot. Um, and it always it always breaks my heart a bit when I'm talking to them and when my father, he always asks, so how are you doing? And that tone of voice, it always breaks me my heart a little bit to know that he's worried about me because he shouldn't be. I'm like, you should be worried about yourself and you should live your life. But I get it because he's a father, you know, and I'm also constantly worried about him, so... I guess it's just normal, um, but I have my parents who support me a great deal, and I have an aunt who also supports me. It's basic, basically it's the only family I have contact with. They all support me. My aunt even sent me a book where of someone. Um, it's a medical. It's it's a book written by a doctor and uh, a patient, and I read it and I'm like, I know that. That's how. I felt this for like years. That's that happens to me. Um, so yeah, that's also been helping. And Marcus is just the best boyfriend that anyone could could like ask for. Basically, that's that. I'm still gonna keep blogging. I know this is a very random video and all over the place. Um, it's a bit difficult for me today to um, get my thoughts uh, in line. Uh, but yeah, um, I have a few posts already that I want to write, that I have in my mind, but I haven't written yet, um, because I have, you know, I don't have the time, and when I have the time, my head hasn't been into it. Um, but I've kept, I, I'm still reading other blogs, and I'm like, oh my god, I want to do that. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys, uh, I hope this video gives you a bit more perspective of what's going on. And let me know if you like this type of videos where I just sit down and talk, because I really like, I've been watching a lot of story time videos on YouTube, and I'm like, that's really cool. And I also have like random and weird stories like that that I can, you know, share with the world. Um, so yeah, let me know, and I hope you're all doing amazingly great. I hope you have an amazing weekend, because today's Friday. Um, leave a comment below, don't be shy, send me an Instagram or, you know, a DM message or just send me an email and 
don't forget to um, add me on chat a Snapchat because I'm getting a bit into it and it's really cool. It's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and have an amazing day. Bye.